This is my Blockburg Hotel. It has seven private residences, 10 normal rooms, a presidential suite, 31 sleeping pods, a grand five-story open-air lobby, a large swimming pool area with cabanas and water slides, a snack shack, a cozy cafe, a skate park, an open-air deli, and so much more. Now let's go back to the summer prior to the year before. I had an idea to create a new Blocksburg Hotel since my other one didn't look as good. I got the idea in the summer to renovate it since it looked outdated. Now I'm so excited to show you all what has been done so far as this hotel has been in the works for many months. Now, for some basic information about the hotel, it takes up the whole plot size 50 by 50. It's nearly worth $5 million too. Decals are custom made, also need to be updated. If we go into the main exterior entrance, there's a whole lot here. A grand parking and drop-off area, a mini park full of nature to reserve space in the area, a drive through for the cafe, which may be functional soon, and an underground parking garage for private residence owners, and water slides for the pool area. This is the only green park in the hotel. It's full of nature kids activities and cafe seats which are reserved and cost extra money it has small paths to make it feel like a normal park this was the part you've been waiting for Right now, we're on the first floor of the actual hotel building. It offers two hotel rooms, a level floor lobby, a cozy cafe, indoor skate park, snack shack, ice skating rink, half indoor and outdoor pool area, four private residences, and a talent show area? I don't know what else to call that. This is the cashier work area. The work area also has a back area, which is used to enhance employee moods. To the right, we have the cozy cafe and skate park. There's a max of six people who can be in the skate park at the same time, as there are six skateboards, one for each person. Go down to the lower level a bit, and it seems extra, right? Opening up this door, here is a larger part of the skate park, which is a total secret. To the left of the lobby, we have a large pool area and one standard room. The pool has five cabanas, which can be rented. To the back of the first floor we have an ice skating rink, pink snack shack, four townhouses, and one tower room. The snack shack of course is very small, not meant to fit a lot of people at once, and includes a special mini studio apartment for my sister only guys. This was originally located on the second floor, but I did have to take it out for the townhouses. These are the townhouses, there are four of them, but only one has been finished. Let's take a look. As you can see, this townhouse is very dense, only meant for one to two people living as there's not a lot of space. The kitchen and living area are very close together, but there's no TV. Going up the stairs is a bedroom and a bathroom, which by the way, I just copy and pasted from the other rooms because I was legit too lazy. Now to the final part of the first floor, we have the tower rooms. The tower has five rooms in total for visitors and two are under construction. Uh, there weren't many changes compared to other parts of the hotel here. The whole second floor has four standard rooms. My office, an open air deli, and two of the biggest private residences in the hotel. And as we're walking to the private residence room section, there's two private residences to choose from. As we enter this grand private residence, just remember only the first floor is done mostly. Here we have one room room that's finished sadly. I'm planning this room to be a child's room and this private residence is one of the only rooms in the hotel to have a balcony. I know that's so interesting. And now let's head up to the second floor of this which is very unfinished. Lots of wood colored here and the third floor of the residence doesn't even have a floor? Next to this private residence is the retro themed private residence which is completely finished. It's built like a home in the hotel. It has a beautiful kitchen with an outstanding river view, two bathrooms, four bedrooms, a TV room, fitness room, and laundry room. It's built and finished around two months ago as you can see in the short where I toured it link in the description by the way. In the entrance area we have a beautiful dining area which is next to the kitchen which includes a countertop bar. Three rooms have doors on this level. The laundry room, child bedroom, and bathroom. Traveling to the middle of the second floor is my office. This place is used for interviews, hiring staff, and for decor. Finally, on the right side of the second floor, we have four standard rooms. This floor accounts for around 40% of the standard rooms in the whole hotel. This is the first room made by my online friend. It has three rooms. This is the second standard room next to the first room on floor two. It has twin beds, which also mix in with the living area. Grand two by three bathroom and a storage space in the front. The room next to the other, which is classified as the third standard room, includes a special kitchen and dining area. 
bed and still includes twin beds and a luxurious bathroom. That's the last standard room on the second floor. The fourth standard room, which will most likely be classified as room four, is the largest standard room in the main building hotel. It offers a kitchen, a double bed with TV, a suited dining area, work area, and even its own mini bathroom unit, which is aside from the main part of the room. Now we're going up in the elevator in the tower rooms to the second floor. This is the fifth standard room on the second floor, also known as the second tower room. As you can see, this was very European hotel inspired. It's very dense and has four rooms. The living room is pretty small, but the kitchen is even more small. And the bedroom, let's not talk about this. Now the third floor doesn't have much to offer as to access nearly everything in the floor you must use the first or second floor. It only has a meeting room, boring, storage room which is really messy and for some reason I don't know why I put there, boring, and a deck which takes up most of the area. The floor also has a tower room which is work in progress. Up to the fourth floor is the presidential suite. The room takes up the right portion of the hotel on the fourth floor which has been reduced. It's important to know that the fifth floor is still in a state of progress and might be demolished. I have not not decided this yet. The Diplomat Suite is still a work in progress as you can see and it hasn't been updated in a year. It's a mini presidential suite around half the size. It is located underneath the hotel on the left side of it and it is accessed by a path which leads to the back. It's home to 31 sleeping pods, two public restrooms, and an eating area. There are no kitchens whatsoever sadly and there is nothing else. And if you want to watch more of my videos that are personalized for you, I got you. Check out a personalized video just for you to the right of the screen or you can also binge watch my latest videos here. There will be updates on the hotel eventually and I'm going to be making an opening video for it soon.